All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 squared. Now I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute an x to the power of 3 for y, or sorry, y for x to the power of 3, I get y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now I'm going to factor this by rewriting this as y squared minus 2y plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor by grouping, so I have y times y minus 2 plus 1 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out y minus 2, I get y minus 2 times y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations, y minus 2 is equal to 0 and y plus 1 is equal to 0. For y minus 2 equals 0, y equals 2, and for y plus 1 equals 0, y equals negative 1. Now remember how we let x to the power of 3 equal y. So now I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 2, and x to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. So for x to the power of 3 equals 2, I can simply take the cube root on both sides. So now I have x is equal to the cube root of 2. And for x to the power of 3 equals negative 1, again, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. So I get x is equal to the cube root of negative 1. And the cube root of negative 1 is simply negative 1. So I have x is equal to negative 1. So these are my two solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x plus 100 squared is equal to 2x plus 199. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 199 here as 200 minus 1. So now I have x plus 100 squared is equal to 2x plus 200 minus 1. Now from here, I can factor out 2 from 2x plus 200. So now I have 2 times x plus 100 minus 1. Now I'm going to let the variable a equal x plus 100. So now if I substitute in a for x plus 100, well, we have x plus 100 over here and x plus 100 over here. So now I have a squared. I'm simply just substituting in a for x plus 100 is equal to 2 times a minus 1. And this is the same thing as a squared is equal to 2a minus 1. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2a and add 1 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and now I'll be left with a squared minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. Now a squared minus 2a plus 1, that's the same thing as a minus 1 squared. So this is equal to 0. And now if I take the square root on both sides, Square root of a minus 1 squared, that's simply a minus 1, and the square root of 0 is 0. So I have a minus 1 is equal to 0, and if I add 1 on both sides, I get a is equal to 1. Now remember how we set a equal to x plus 100, so this means that 1 is equal to x plus 100, and x is equal to negative 99. So now to check... If I plug in negative 99 into my original equation, I get negative 99 plus 100 squared is equal to 2 times negative 99 plus 199. So negative 99 plus 100 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So I have 1 is equal to 2 times negative 99, which is negative 198 plus 199. And 199 minus 198 is simply 1. So I get 1 is equal to 1. And because this is correct, my solution is correct. 
All right, so in this problem, I have x is equal to 256 to the power of negative x. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the square root on both sides. So now I have the square root of x is equal to the square root of 256 to the power of negative x. So before we do that, actually, I'm going to rewrite 256 to the power of negative x as 1 over 256 to the power of x. So now I can multiply x with 256 to the power of x, and this is equal to 1. Now I'm going to divide both sides by x. So now I have 256 to the power of x is equal to 1 over x. And now I can go ahead and take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have 256 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 1 over x to the power of 1 over x. So now x and 1 over x, these two cancel out. So now I have 256 is equal to... 1 over x to the power of 1 over x. And 256, that's the same thing as 4 to the power of 4. So I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 1 over x to the power of 1 over x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So, in this case, 4 is equal to 1 over x. Now, if I multiply both sides by x, these two cancel out, and I get 4x is equal to 1. Now, if I divide by both sides by 4, I get x is equal to 1 over 4. So now to check, I have x is equal to 256 to the power of negative x. And x is equal to 1 fourth, so I have 1 fourth is equal to 256 to the power of negative 1 fourth. And this is the same thing as 1 fourth is equal to 1 over 256 to the power of 1 over 4. Now, 256 to the power of 1 over 4 is 4, so I have 1 fourth is 1 fourth, and this is right.